guys welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Wepia and I film about faith in today's video I'm going to be talking about my struggles as a Christian I believe that this is a video that's going to help someone else there when it dawned on me to do this video my heart was full I, I actually felt like I'm not even ready to let my life out there like that but I feel like if it's going to help the body of Christ then why not i had to do this video because a lot of people out there are struggling with identity issues with being bold for christ and everything and i feel like this is something that satan really capitalizes on and i'm going to take this reference from genesis in the book of genesis right satan capitalized on eve's identity to cause her to sin okay so Eve didn't actually know that she was made in the image and likeness of God. So Satan went to tell her that if you eat the fruit, you would be like God. If Eve knew that she was already like God and she didn't have to do anything to prove that she was already like God, she wouldn't have eaten the fruit. And I think it's the same thing with us. So I'd say that the first thing I struggled with was my identity. I think we live in a society where everybody projects what they want to see in you, okay? So everybody tells you who they actually want you to be. And it's quite difficult finding yourself because, I mean, you are giving pressure from your parents to be who they want you to be. You are giving pressure from friends to be who they want you to be and back in primary school i was seen to be someone like a hardcore girl i won't say i'm so hardcore but then i think i passed i, I passed to be a hardcore girl and so i had to keep up that hard girl nature okay which i would say wasn't really me because everyone saw me to be a hardcore girl and everything when my journey in god started i think god started breaking me i felt like i didn't fit in and so it was it was terrible i i actually didn't know who i was but then god helped me he helped me with my identity he helped me with finding who i actually was he made me understand that I was made in his image and likeness. He made me know that I was his child. And that was something that helped me. At a point, people thought I was being fake, right? Because, I mean, it was, it was actually a drastic change from like being so rude, being so hardcore to like this very soft person that kind of didn't really have a say and i feel like satan also capitalized on that because after that dramatic change from being that very from being that very hard person to that very soft person i became someone that kind of had a low self-esteem and it's not it, it wasn't so obvious okay this is something that i battled with internally it wasn't so obvious and so a lot of you didn't see it even no matter how close you were because my mouth was still in 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 but it was an inward thing and i think satan capitalized on it so i couldn't actually air my views on certain matters and i i, I feel like one thing that actually helped my struggle not helped it in a positive light but actually boosted the struggle was the fact that I still had that image and impression of how people saw me, okay? And I, f I felt like that was my ideal self. I felt like that was who I actually was. So I actually struggled and I wasn't allowing God to actually bring out who he made me to be. But then I actually struggled with the image. I struggled with trying to keep the image that people saw about me. I mean, people saw me to be. So I struggled with 
people see me to, to be that hard girl like i just really wanted them to see that i was hard i just really wanted to prove a point another thing i struggled with was what people were going to say about me and i remember this vividly i say this with tears in my eyes and i say this with tears in my eyes because i actually do regret it <laughs> the fact that i allowed people's thoughts about me affect my christian life okay i felt like people were judging me it was it was so hard i at this point come to think of it i i think about it now and then first of all i regret like why do you think that people are looking at me nobody really cares and, sec and secondly it hurts me because i couldn't stand up for my jesus like i couldn't i couldn't um just dance to the glory of god in church i couldn't be bold about jesus i couldn't be bold to tell people that see the weapon you knew before is no longer the weapon you know now this weapon you know now is someone that is marvelously helped by god this weapon you know now is someone that truly truly loves god and wants to live the rest of her life for god i couldn't come to terms with the fact that i i just truly wanted to live my life for god right and so i struggled I struggled with this and at a point I just felt like I was being fake because I want I had I wanted to live a double life I remember there was a point in my life I told God that I mean you can still love the Lord and still go and do your stuff in the world I like, still just chill right now I sit back and I think and I'm like why on earth didn't I just want to come out and just be bold for for God right if only we knew or we know that God has made us we are already worth it we don't really have to struggle with our identity we don't really have to struggle with who we are we just need to confess that Jesus is Lord and take bold steps to follow him regardless of what the world thinks about us or regardless of who we think we are if and only if we see ourselves the way god sees us i really believe that things are going to be easy i just want to tell you that see yourself the way god sees you you are actually worth it you are bold you are confident you're beautiful you're handsome you don't have to prove anything to anybody because God actually loves you just the way you are. See yourself the way God sees you. Okay? He died for you. See yourself as someone that is worthy of his blood. See yourself as someone that God paid the price for. And it's okay. Don't don't even don't even allow yourself to think in a certain way about yourself. He says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And that is the truth. The word of God is the truth. If he has said it, then it is final. No voice of the market can change what God has said about you. Your current situation right now shouldn't be the defining factor for you. Okay. Another thing I'd want you to know is that let the Holy Spirit help you. The Holy Spirit is not a figment of our imagination. He's actually real. And I say this because I am someone that has been marvelously helped by Jesus. For me to stand here and talk about my faith and even cry before you should let you know that I've been helped by Jesus. I can say that I am not where I used to be. I am not the entire image that God has created me to be. But then I am gradually changing and evolving. You can't remain the same once you allow God to help you. And so it doesn't matter what people think about you, what people say about you. Just know that as long as God lives, as long as Jesus is there for us, we will continue to change and become better people. 
And so we will not look like our past. Definitely. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm very sorry that this had to be a very emotional video. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.